This is the building science of sage glass. The manufacturing process of electronically tinted glass is, as you would expect, complicated. From robots to clean rooms to proprietary coating process, we reveal now the engineering spanning decades and show you how it's made. This is very difficult stuff to do. Lots and lots of challenges, and uh, over the last few years, we've made a big step change in how we um, make our product um, that has given us more flexibility to offer the architects in terms of improved exterior aesthetics, and also given us more effective manufacturing. The product quality needs to be at such a high level. We had to take best practices from other industries like semiconductor industry to create a clean environment so that the glass is so clean, any minor defect on it is removed. And if you think that the coatings we put down are about 1 50th of the thickness of a human hair, any tiny defect is going to completely disrupt it. So the quality standard has to be so high that we've created this clean room environment. You can't make electrochromic glazing in a standard glass factory. There needs to be a higher level of cleanliness and a higher level of, of automation in order to get the coating quality that you need for electrochromic glazing. So this beginning process is very robotic and that is by design. Absolutely, we don't want anybody touching it. The glass has to be pristine. We're growing the layers, literally atom by atom, from the surface of the glass. We're sputtering those atoms onto the glass, but they're growing as the glass goes by. The coder is essentially a, a room, which is a, a chamber that we pump down to a vacuum. Okay? And then in that chamber, in that vacuum chamber, we can ignite plasmas of certain materials that we want to sputter onto the glass, atom by atom, as the glass travels by. And what does that do? That, is that the secret sauce, so to speak, of the electrochromics? Sure, there are some very special layers in there. In, in that one micron stack, there are about seven layers. Some of them are very thin. Some of them are down to 10 nanometers thick. Yeah, so that's about 100 atoms. Yeah, yeah? That's and that's 100 atoms. What's important is to have 100 atoms over the whole piece of glass, right? So you're talking about a 70 square foot piece of glass. You need 100 atoms here, here, and here, always. That's the secret, to get it uniform. Everything is made Everything to order. Is. We're trying to get more made to stock, but that's going to mean standard windows. Um, we've got a couple of orders like that right now, but I would say that 90% of it is made to order. Well, and with architecture changing, evolving, and, and, and the way that people are building buildings now, right. getting stock. And architects being, you know, the design component is always there with the architects, right? right? Architects. If they would just stick with nice, simple squares, would make my life really easy from a production point sure of view. It would. But the buildings would be horrible, they'd be boring. So we love it when an architect brings a, an idea where they've maybe got a huge triangle that they want to use or an odd parallelogram. But if you ask any architect or building owner who's wanting to use glass, the number one thing they say is, we want it to be big. We want all that light coming in. So getting to big pieces of glass is, was a major objective when we constructed the new plant. We're a quality-based company. Quality is driving absolutely everything we do. From when new people come on board here and training them in the proper way to get them up to speed, to enable them to use machines like this. It's a long process. We document it very well. We put a lot of effort into training our people because our people are the ones that guarantee the quality. Do you see innovation like this continuing for you guys? This company is like a semiconductor company. It's, it's something of the future. This is not old industry, right? This isn't old manufacturing. It's not dirty, it's not dark, it's not dangerous. But to be that way, it's gonna have to continue to change, continue to innovate. It's, it's absolutely essential. With the state-of-the-art facility spanning nearly 325,000 square feet, Sage Glass has perfected their process and product in unique and daring ways to allow them to continue to progress in their offerings and continually up the ante when it comes to electronically tinted glass. Now that you know what Sage Glass is and how it's made, let's look at the simple and dramatic applications used around the world. This is the building science of Sage Glass.